chat We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag Love lives here so join us today For Eve's Barnside Chat You can find us in Campbellville, Ontario We have rescued chickens, pigs and cows and goats We've got plenty more farmed animals, big and small, all for love and love for all. Welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's is to inspire kindness and compassion for farmed animals everywhere you can help us take action by volunteering or through donations or visit our store and check out our website to learn more welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat we take your questions from the magic rainbow bag Love lives here so join us today For Eve's Barnside Chat Happily ever Esther Farm Sanctuary Hello, friends. Hello, hello. I've unmuted us. I can see the little bar is dancing. Happy Monday and happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you're tuning in from. My name is Derek Walter, and I am one of the founders of Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary. And the other founder, Steve Jenkins, uh, he's not able to join us today, sadly, uh, but he did want me to give along his best regards to you and all of his love. Uh, he's got appointments today, and he couldn't make it. So um, that's that. It's Valentine's Day at the sanctuary, and we are sharing the love around today. And it is so bright out today. It's so nice to see the sun. Uh, I'm going to turn around here. Maybe that will make it easier for me to see. Actually, it's not very easy for me to see the screen. Um, so I'm going to do my best. Uh, my gosh, it is Valentine's Day and we are so excited to be right in the middle of the Share the Love campaign and we will get to some of those updates very soon. Um, before we do that, I want to remind everybody to make sure that you click on the follow us, uh, the follow us uh, button to make sure that you never miss a broadcast and that your feed is always filled with everything that is the sanctuary. Um, just as the theme song was ending, a train started to come by. Heath's property, there is a railroad track, one single railroad track that runs along the back of the property. And it was perfect timing today for uh, them to come by. Typically, the trains uh, don't come by this time of day. They must be backed up or something but um, on a weekday we typically get four trains a day and then on a weekend there's between six and eight trains a day and the trains um, you know it just makes a bit of noise when the engine's going by uh, but the residents don't give too much bother to it anymore um, I mean everybody gets used to the noise and they can hear it coming from miles away um, so that's the Heath's train um, We've got a bunch of things to talk about today, a bunch of updates to give you, but the biggest one is it's Happy Valentine's Day, and we're so glad that you've joined us today. Uh, please let us know in the comment feed where you are tuning in from, and I will try to read and shout out some of these. We have somebody from England, Carol from England. Hello, Carol from England. It's so good to see you. 
Thank you for joining us. Hello, Lynn. Hello. Oh my gosh, my screen's all marked up here. There. Yeah, make sure that you unmute later. Yeah, there has been some mute button conundrums uh, that have been going on where when we go to a video reel and then I forget to unmute it. So this week I brought something to remind me to unmute it. Right now, running uh, through till the end of the month is the Esther Shares campaign. Uh, share the love. Um, help us raise $20,000 for the Esther Shares Medical Fund. And if you're new to the page and you're not sure what the Esther Shares Medical Fund is, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So far, uh, last week, the total that we were able to let you know how much we raised uh, out of the 20000 was just under 6000 so we were making some headroom there. And here is the total for this week. Here is the updated total, $12,170. So we are over 50% of the way there. Um, last year, the Esther Shares program gave out over $30,000 to farmed animal sanctuaries in North America that were in need of medical relief. Um, you know, these medical procedures that come up for the residents and for farmed animals, it's not cheap. And the Esther Shares program was created out of an abundance of love that everybody had. Um, I don't know if you remember when we covered the Heath's barn behind me in hearts. It was a spectacular display of love, and the entire barn was covered in these hearts with people's names, people that contributed to the Esther Scanner Fund. And uh, right here is pictured two past board members. We have Susan Housel and Krista Hitema, and uh, myself and Steve there, and then right beside the big Esther scanner and uh, that Esther scanner there um, is the Pegaso and it's the largest and most advanced animal scanner in the world and it's the first of its kind in Canada and it resides right now at the University of Guelph and uh, it's uh, that piece of equipment is being used on a daily basis to help diagnose farmed animals in need and further research so we are so thrilled um, I, a few years back, Esther ran into some trouble, and in order to diagnose her, uh, we needed to buy that big piece of equipment. Uh, the equipment that the hospital had was too small, and Esther could not fit inside the gantry. The gantry is the big hole in the middle of the scanner, and that dictates how big of an animal can go inside. The wonderful thing about this gantry is that uh, it can scan a, a standing horse's head. They don't have to, um, I mean, a mild sedative may be needed if the horse is super nervous, but they can scan a horse while they are still awake, which is amazing. And the Nestor Scanner fundraiser plaque marks the wall uh, it will mark the wall forever at the university where this big piece of equipment resides. So why am I talking so much about the Esther Scanner? Well, when we raised money for the Esther Scanner, um, we raised too much. The abundance of love that came in from around the world paid for the scanner and there was extra money left over. And so we started the Esther Shares program. And that's, uh, we took the excess money and we um, divvy it out in chunks to animal sanctuaries in North America that are in need of medical relief. So they write in to us and they let us know that they have a problem. Um, we've since then created a wonderful website for the Esther Shares program. If you head on over to happilyeverester.ca and you can click on Esther Shares, it's right up there in the top menu bar, and it will open up a new window. And there are a few steps to, um, to registering for the Esther Shares campaign. Um, how it works, you go to the website, click on Esther Shares, and uh, the first thing you have to do is register. Um, and let us know exactly what the problem is and what the need is. Um, if you know a farmed animal sanctuary that is in need of medical relief fund, have them head on over to happilyeverester.ca and send in your funding request. Number two is processing your requests. It can take a few days to process the requests. Um, that's where we suss out the sanctuaries and make sure that it is a legitimate need. Step three is receiving your payment uh, for the medical need that you need. And then step four is keep staying in touch. Um, some of these farmed animal sanctuaries 
um, that we've been able to help so far. Last year, uh, there was, I believe, 18 sanctuaries the, that we were able to help out, which is incredible. Um, and this year, so far, there have been seven requests that have come in and five payouts so far. There are other two that are pending. And um, we're just such, we're, we're so grateful to have this opportunity to keep the message of the Esther Shares campaign alive and keep people talking about farm animals because it is a full time job keeping people excited for farm animals and getting them to actually engage and help out is just the bomb. We are so happy to have everybody's love and support. If you head on over to happilyeverester.ca, you can donate to the Esther Shares program and all of that money will be divvied out responsibly to other farmed animal sanctuaries that are in need. Again, folks, we're at $12,170 of the $20,000 goal and there's still time to donate. No dollar amount is too small. And of course, the donations are tax deductible um, in Canada and the US. All right, let me put all that away. Uh, we've got the magic rainbow bag. I've got Steve's magic rainbow bag here. And um, inside the magic rainbow bag are my gloves and hat because it is cold outside. It is minus 17 today. It is freezing. The sun is shining. And we can, the roofs are melting, um, but it is still so flippin' cold today. Uh, let us know what the temperature is where you are in the world today so we can be envious of the warmer temperatures and uh, the folks that may be living in warmer climates. We've got people from New York. Well, that is just as cold as it is here. I'm sure our weather in New York uh, pretty much mirrors what... Uh, the weather in New York pretty much mirrors what we have here. Yeah, people are saying, Derek, don't forget about the mute button. Yeah, I know, the mute button, the running gag. It's not actually a running gag intentionally, but it has turned out to be a running gag nevertheless. So questions from the week are in the magic rainbow bag. There's a tiny little printer, and when uh, you submit a question, it prints into this bag here. Sometimes a kind admin volunteer who is monitoring the feed will email us those questions and we'll print them out the good old fashioned way. There's a project that's happening around the farm and I am so stoked about it. Check it out right up over my left shoulder. That's my, there we are. I'm seeing things backwards here. My right shoulder, right there, there it is. Check out that right there, friends. Another camera has popped up. Each of the buildings has cameras inside and outside, and these cameras are amazing. They have facial recognition software, so if somebody is on the sanctuary that's not part of the team, the volunteer team, it will let me know right to my cell phone that somebody is walking around that shouldn't be here. If the person has a fever, it will let me know as well that they should perhaps seek medical attention. If somebody lights a cigarette, where they shouldn't be smoking, it will let me know. If the building gets too hot, it will let me know. If one of the residents has a fever, it will let me know. These cameras, I am so stoked about it. I have not been more excited about a project. This project has been in the making for a couple of years because it's not a cheap thing. We had to get a bunch of upgrades to the internet right above my walkie talkie antenna here, right at the tip of it there, you can see another camera. And then if we move further along the barn, there are more cameras right on the tip of my antenna. Basically, the corners of the buildings, all of the buildings have cross cameras that the, you know, so the coop camera is looking across over here at these buildings. The barn cameras are looking that way and they are watching out at all times. And that project could not have been made possible without the Holiday Magic Fundraiser 2021 and also 2020. Funding from each of those campaigns was used to put this gargantuan project of safety together. And I don't think there's any other farmed animal sanctuary in the world that has the fire safety that we have and the, the recognition, uh, the fire recognition that we've got around the property. And there's also some fire suppression equipment around. Uh, and the safety that we're able to provide for the residents is all because of you. And without your help, we would not be able to do any of this. And letting people know and educating the public about what is available for farmed animal protections and farmed animal health care is what we do best. Um, the, the staff here, the team, um, bar none, we have the best individualized care 
for farmed animals um, around. We have the best data uh, collection and we have, um, you know, we are constantly com contemplating um, the overall mental health and well-being of each individual resident. And, you know, um, all of the decisions are made with a team. There is a, an amazing volunteer board of directors that makes sure that with laser focus that we stay on track and that we are constantly educating and that our programs are always in line with the mission of showing compassion for farmed animals everywhere. All right, let's take a question from the question bag. I feel like I've yabbed a lot here. All right, here we go. First question from the Magic Rainbow Bag is, sometimes the questions are inappropriate. I didn't screen them ahead of time, so let's, uh, oh yeah. Jody, Jody, you funny person, wants to know, should followers get lip reading lessons? Uh, that would help, actually. Um, yeah, absolutely, that would help when I forget to unmute the button right in front of me. Yeah, lip reading lessons would for sure. Thank you, Jody. You should be a comedian. Uh, next question. Um, Sherry Finley wants to know, what is Esther's weight? Okay, so Esther's weight is around, let's say, 625 pounds. Esther did gain a bit of weight so far this winter, and we've noticed she's just a little bit wider, and that's because activity level is down a little bit. And um, that is because, of course, it being winter, and um, so she's staying inside a little bit more, and it's icy out, and she also has a crack on her hook, which is giving her uh, a little less time being vertical. Uh, we're wrapping this, we're wrapping her hoof uh, daily and providing a little bit of care to it um, and scrubbing it clean. And I'm grateful that it's so cold because the ground is frozen and it's not muddy, so um, the contamination going into the foot is very minimal, uh, minimal at most. So thank you for checking in on that one. Here's the next question. It is cold out here. My hands are starting to go numb. Uh, Claire wants to know, who is the biggest pig now, size and weight? Oh, I think it's Oxana. I think it's Oxana. Visually, it looks like it's, you know, like maybe a tie between Oxana. Uh, oh, maybe Ted. Maybe Ted. Um, but I have to look that up. The data is collected about every six weeks on the weight of the pigs. And so, and I could look on my phone right now and see where that is, but I wasn't prepared for that question. But I would say that it is Oxana, and I will check back and I'll see if that is actually true. Let's check in on the Esther Shares campaign. Just remember, we have the Share the Love campaign, which is running now until the end of February. And we're trying to raise $20,000. And the goal is $20,000. And so far, we've raised $12,170, which is amazing. And those folks that have donated, we will send out a quarterly newsletter and let you know just how much the Esther Shares program is helping out. Okay, let's check in with an Esther Shares an Esther share story. This is Nancy. Um, Nancy, as her family calls her, lives at Chatham Animal Haven, and she just celebrated her seventh birthday. Last year, Nancy became very sick, and her family rushed her to the vet where they found a large mass in her tummy. Nancy needed surgery, and Esther Shares was honored to be able to help out with Nancy's vet bill. Nancy enjoyed a cupcake on her birthday and some belly rubs. We are so happy that this sweet lady is back to her old self. So that's Nancy at the Chatham Animal Haven Sanctuary. You can check them out online and find their presence online. Another very handsome person here is Whisper the Goat, and he resides at the Ass Menagerie Sanctuary. Um, this is Whisper's, Whisper's family reached out to the Esther Shares program, and we're so happy to be able to help out with his vet bill. Uh, he ate something that he should not have, and he was rushed to the hospital for a blockage, uh, which can turn serious very, very quickly. So that's Whisper. And here's another person that was able to be helped out by the Esther Shares program, and this Boots. And he resides at Hercules Haven. You can check out all of these stories in the feed of uh, Happily Ever Esther uh, Happily Ever Esther's Facebook page, the Facebook page that you're on right now. If you scroll back in time, you'll be able to see Waddles. And that's Waddles, a handsome person who got help. And Winslow, 
Another very handsome pig who got Esther Share's help uh, is at Arthur's Acres. And then there's this place, the Odd Man Inn took over the pig preserve, which is located in Tennessee, and they moved across country. They moved all of their residents from one sanctuary to another, and the Esther Share's program was able to help them out and give them uh, a lot of money to help out and get their medical room up to par. Uh, we have a quick video clip here where... Video clip. Oh no, I've lost it. I've excuse my big scrolling finger here. Bo bo bo. Where is it? Here it is. We have a little story here on Odd Man Inn. Enjoy. Oh wait. Here's my reminder. Here's my big reminder. I got a big clip and I'm putting it on my finger because I'm gonna mute and we're gonna watch this video clip. But I'm not living without you This could be our one chance We'll send a postcard when we're through That initial seed money from Esther's allowed us to, to fully stock the facility with medical care equipment, like first aid things that you need to manage a sanctuary of this size. We have 200 pigs on this property. The very first residence that we had that, that needed health care, her name is J-Lo, and she is a beautiful Hampshire pig, and she, she is, has this really unique personality she's just she's just bold and sassy and and everybody loves her like you can't not love her she's she's wonderful and we took over in april of last year and she had she had been sort of dealing with a foot injury since january and and because of the Esther Shares donation we were able to get jlo we put her at the top of the list because you guys know, right, a foot issue in a large pig can be life-threatening. Like if they can't walk on that foot, not only does their quality of life decline, but it is a life-threatening injury. And lo and behold, her, her wound was infected. The infection was into the bone. And we had to have some pretty serious discussions right off the bat about euthanizing this beautiful, young sassy pig and and we were like oh this is so terrible right this is such a terrible injury it seems so simple when they just have a cut on their foot but you have to provide health care for that otherwise they'll lose their life and so she was one of our very first cases that the Esther shares program helped with and I'm really proud to say that JLo made a full recovery. She is back out with her herd. She is doing fantastic. She's still sassy as ever. And I just saw her at feed time this morning. There is no limp whatsoever. No um, limp. We're so grateful that we found partners to help us. Like right off the bat, Esther Shares and Farm Sanctuary stepped right in and were like, what can we do to help you? And, and it was amazing. It, it was really amazing. And it got us off on the right foot here. There's a big clip on my finger pinching the blood off to remind me to unmute. I did it. You don't have to be a professional lip reader. I did, however, put my hat and I got my gloves on because it is minus 100 out here today. And that is cold. How do we keep the residents warm on days where it's minus 100? Well, lots of fresh bedding. There are heat lamps for the residents that need heat lamps. There are heating pads for the residents 
that need heating pads. We keep the doors closed up as best as we can. There are wind flaps hanging. The whole team does such an outstanding job at making sure that the residents have everything that they need, especially on cold warning days like today. Uh, let's take some more questions from the magic rainbow bag. If you have a question that you would like answered, you can write it below in the comment feed and a kind and min volunteer will press print on the little tiny printer that's in the magic rainbow bag and it'll print out questions on little slips of paper like this. We're going to take a question right now from Floyd. Has Esther's rear hoof how has Esther's rear hoof been doing this bad weather? Well, uh, hoof conditions this time of year are really, really, I mean, they pop up a lot. The ground is so hard and unforgiving um, that quite often they get cracks in their hoofs. And uh, Esther's not the only one to have crack in her hoof uh, this season. But we deal with that with scrubbing with a little toothbrush. We scrub out all the little cracks and we use betadine. And then uh, to finish it all off, we use something called copper care. And it's dark green. In color and it smells like diesel or gas and um, and then it's all wrapped up to keep all contaminate contaminants out so we monitor hoofs every single day um, there is a great amount of effort that goes into wrapping hoofs and keeping them safe so good question another question from the rainbow bag we have can turkeys and piggies get ticks and that is from Lisa. Um, so we've never seen a tick on a bird before here. However, we have seen ticks on pigs before. And Esther has had a few ticks on her. Uh, this past season um, was really, really terrible for the ticks. And um, we were finding them a lot. Uh, we found at around 20 ticks this year. Um, some latched and some not. Um, and of course, Phil... I'm sure Phil is the person who's bringing them in into the house, but um, as soon as we find them, we pick them off and uh, we do away with them. But it's the, you know they're not super attracted to the pigs as much as they are to Phil, but we do definitely monitor that because ticks can carry all sorts of diseases. Um, so good question. Uh, next question from Wendy. Uh, did you buy Nancy a celebratory new car? No, Nancy. Uh, does Nancy only has one parking space needed? Um, that's a good question from Wendy. Uh, last year, Nancy had date night with Mary uh, for those people that donated and were able to attend the date night with Nancy and Mary. It was super cute. They took their car out and they buzzed around the farm a bit and then they sat and ate spaghetti. It was super cute. Uh, this one's from Holly. Did I miss the story about how Esther flipped the stove? Uh, no, it was out there in time and space somewhere. Esther got her nose underneath of the handle on the front of the stove, and Steve was with her at the time and uh, looking after her, but he was not making her dinner quick enough, and so she put her nose underneath the handle on the bottom drawer and then continued to lift the freezer, uh, the, um, the stove up the wall and uh, raised it maybe about 18 inches, and then she let it go. And the top broke, and the motherboard broke, and the inside all came apart. Uh, it was a fatal blow. And uh, yeah, there's not too many appliances that can take a fatal blow from a pig. They, the, the pigs are just so immensely strong, and we could bolt it to the floor um, but if she wanted to raise, it would raise the floor. The pigs are so, so strong. Okay, another question here from the, the Magic Rainbow Bag. Esther Shares program is running right now. We hope that you will head on over and help support the Esther Shares campaign. We're at $12,170. We have a little ways to go. We're over 50% of the way. And uh, that money will be dispersed out responsibly to other farmed animal sanctuaries in need. Share the love. Help us raise $20,000 for the Esther Shares Medical Fund. No donation is too small. The sanctuary has a, a great deal of education that, that goes outpouring in all directions to the newsletter, to the Facebook pages, to the lives. Did you know that turkeys grow beards, which are modified feathers that grow into a stiff bristle? See that thing coming out of the front of Cornelius' uh, chest there, right below his neckline, you know, that black thing there. The beards continue to grow. The older the turkey, the longer the beard. And so that's the way you can tell 
you know, how approximately how old a turkey is by how long their beard is. So that is a super interesting fact. Um, thank you so much, friends, for joining us today on the Barnside Chat. Remember, if you have a question that you would like answered, you can private message us if you're too shy to put it on the message board, or you can email us, uh, or you can put it in the comment feed below. Oh my gosh, I think I've touched all of the buttons that I need to touch here on the screen today. We have other channels that you can follow us on. There is a YouTube channel. You can head on over to YouTube and please subscribe to the channel. You can also subscribe to the Happily Ever Esther Instagram account. There's also TikTok and Twitter. Please head on over there. Like us on all of those accounts. It really helps keeping the reach going. And of course, we want the reach to travel far and wide to as many people as possible. Please donate generously to the Esther Shares program. My name's Derek. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day sharing all of our love from here at Heaths, from all of the team, all of the volunteers, the board of directors. We're sharing our love right back to you. Thanks so much for tuning in, friends. My name's Derek, and we'll see you next week on Barnside Chat. All we need is a place to be And a few good friends for some company If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked If you drop on by, you don't have to knock We're happy to share whatever we've got